pick a phantom. Every bit of a phantom. An alleged victim describes to police one of the last images before he said he lost consciousness and was sexually assaulted. This is Wave News at 6. I'm Myra Ansari. I'm John Bowl. The investigation you're about to watch involves a popular bar in the Highlands that is also well known to police. Claims of people being drugged, fines by the city, the arrest of its owner, now a lawsuit. This report may be disturbing to some of you because you're about to hear directly from a man who says he was sexually assaulted. He sat down with Wave News troubleshooter Natalia Martinez, who also uncovered a history of accusations at Nowhere Bar. She joins us now with her latest investigation. It's been almost a year since the bar owner was arrested. David Mattingly says that he is 100% innocent. The case against him has not been presented to a grand jury. Lab testing still not complete, leaving everyone in limbo. It's a popular nighttime destination, Nowhere Bar, in the heart of the Highlands, a place Corey Shelton's stepfather, David Mattingly, has successfully run for years. David, to me, was always like, he was a hard worker, he was a go-getter. But during a visit in September 2022, the image Shelton had of his hard-working stepdad changed. As much as I want it to, I just know nothing will ever really be normal again. After coming back from a night out, Shelton told police his stepdad mixed him a drink, which made him increasingly sick. Violently, violently ill, and then the next moment he's right there, just like, you know, you're going to be okay, you're going to be fine. According to Shelton's claims to police, the comforting morphed into unwanted sexual touching, kissing, and maddeningly becoming increasingly bolder with every ounce of consciousness Shelton lost. I, I, I froze. I didn't, um, I didn't fight, and I, I'm, I'm a little ashamed of that. I just didn't know what to do, and I, I just realized in the moment, you know, everything was changing. He was my dad. It wasn't until Shelton came to, hours later, that he felt pain and panic that he'd been sexually assaulted. Shelton went to the hospital, where they put him in a room with another person in it, separated by nothing but a curtain. He explained he was feeling violated and was in shock, so he refused a rape kit. Your decision-making isn't exactly great after that, and I, I realize now, you know, sort of what the effects of immediate trauma are on the body and the mind, and it's not, you're not able to make decisions on your own. Eventually, one of the doctors or nurses told us and said, you know, unless you're able to do a rape kit, the police aren't going to come, and it was just like this chicken and the egg situation. It's like, you're going to put me in a room? And we don't have a room for this kind of thing. LMPD met with Shelton regardless, taking this report. And a couple of days later, yes. Sir, you might want to stand up straight. Accused of sodomy and sexual assault, charges his attorney, Frank Muscagney, says will be proven false. This did not occur. This event did not occur. Period. Muscagney says Mattingly struggles to know why Shelton is making the claims. He said they had a great relationship even after he and Shelton's mother separated. It's crushed him. It has been horrible um, psychologically, uh, financially when this hit the newspaper or the TV media. Um, there was a tremendous economic loss at the bar. The bar, though, has had its own issues. I found multiple claims of people being drugged or sexually assaulted by other people. November 2021, two females possibly drugged at Nowhere Bar reads this detective's email. April 2022, another possible OD drugging at Nowhere Bar. March 2022, another incident this past weekend at Nowhere Bar. LNPD confirmed they've received at least 15 such reports in the last three years, although there's been no convictions. I also requested to see the city's file on Nowhere Bar. What I found? Citations from ABC, fines, and warnings its license would be revoked. But Muscagney says Mattingly himself 
is not at fault. There's no proof any of the crimes happen at or because of his business, which is surrounded by other bars. Mattingly did add off-duty police and started handing out cards on how to stay safe against date rape drugs. The measures, though, were part of this agreement in order to avoid ABC pulling the plug. So this is a man that cares about his business, cares about the community. I am comfortable that a jury of 12 people will find him not guilty if this goes to trial. That's if the Commonwealth even presents the case to a grand jury. So far, that hasn't happened. Waiting on blood samples a year later. LNPD even had to get funding to pay for another lab with the ability to test for certain drugs. The process is broken. There's not, you know, enough systems in place to, to adequately protect people. For now, Shelton has filed a civil lawsuit against Mattingly. The investigation is still pending and the bar is still open, leaving Shelton with nowhere else to turn. You know, you know what the biggest fear for me is right now? That this all goes away and nothing happens and I'm the guy that was out there, you know, in the middle of the streets trying to wave cars down and say, hey, help, I need help. And, and you know, nobody did anything. Well, Shelton says LNPD has been an advocate for him, but said that the Commonwealth told him to move on and treated him like they wanted him to go away. The Commonwealth did respond, saying that they are still actively working on the case and treating it with the gravity that it deserves. We expect the results from the lab to be in within the next couple of weeks, while Mattingly maintains that he will be cleared. And Shelton is urging anyone with information to come forward to police. Natalia Martinez, Wave News.